ocean covers more than half of our planet. And yet, the underwater landscape off the coast of Alabama is virtually empty, a watery desert beneath the surface. That's why the Alabama Department of Conservation does this. Sinks artificial reefs to create habitats for many species in the Gulf. With about 13,000 different projects off the coast, experts say Alabama's artificial reef program is the largest in the country. And now we're about to get a new one that is sure to make history. She's called the New Venture, a retired ocean surveying ship built in 1986. But first, we have to travel all the way to Lafitte, Louisiana. There inside a shipyard. This 250 foot vessel is getting her makeover. Our ultimate goal is to convert this vessel into a shipwreck. Craig Newton is here with Alabama Marine Resources. Our job is to clean it so there's no uh, hydrocarbons, no uh, anything in except steel. And Richard Jarris is managing the project. They let us tag along to get a sneak peek inside what will be one of the largest artificial reefs in the state. A Marine here has to take all this wood out, all everything down to just the beams there. Dozens of workers are inside cleaning it, opening up walls and removing harmful materials. It's a painstaking process. All the insulation, uh, floor coverings, uh, equipment. It's, it's very dirty work. That's an ironic sign. But soon the new venture will be completely transformed into a mansion for marine life <laughs> and a wonderland for scuba divers. I myself can't wait to get down there. So the engine room right here, this will be the epicenter of the dive. And if you take a look up, you can really see why divers will be able to swim through those openings in this underwater playground. But before that can happen, workers will need to cut more holes. Somebody's going to get up there and get trapped. And seal off any areas like this that could be dangerous. Make sure nothing can hang up a diver. They can't get any compartments they can't get out of. It'll, it'll be diver safe. Hydraulic fluid, uh, all of that has been flushed out of the tanks. From wires to wood, everything must go. Well, except for maybe one thing. We left the toilet sitting there because it was good conversation for divers. It's dark down here. As we walk through the hallways, we see signs of the men and women who were here before us. Ships have character to them. You, know, you walk through them, you think about all the people that worked in them, all the people who took care of them. And with about 50 different rooms, there's a lot of ground to cover. So just to give you some perspective on how massive this ship is, the very top of the ship where I'm standing right here, it'll be about 60 feet deep, perfect for intermediate divers, while the rest of the ship will be for the advanced divers, the bottom totaling about 123 feet deep. <laughs> Like a sunken treasure, Newton says the shipwreck will attract not only divers, but also spear fishermen and anglers too. So how do you sink a ship that was built to be unsinkable? They're going to identify areas that need to be vented, you know, have have uh, holes cut in of the top part of the ship to let air escape from the cabin and, and from the interior portion of the ship. And once that's done, the fish will flock to their new home. One of the goals for this reef is you know, to provide more additional habitat for red snapper. Along with that comes uh, fish reproduction of, of things like vermilion snapper and gray trigger fish, all the fish that we like to catch. Now the countdown is on until the new venture starts its new venture on the ocean floor, helping restore our gulf for generations to come. It just provides a sense of, of adventure and, and a sense of exploration. Very excited about the project. I'm excited about what it'll do for the state of Alabama.